Welcome to new Tag View Vlog. This time around I have two devices here, two Sony devices, the Xperia 10 Plus device versus the Xperia 10 Mark II. And we want to check out what are the differences between those devices in terms of hardware and of construction. And I will talk a little bit about software as well, but mainly what are the hardware differences one year update for the xperia 10 plus the xperia 10 mark ii and i would call this is really the successor of the 10 mark ii not only the xperia 10 because this is an, a leap forward when it comes to comparison between the xperia 10 mark ii and the xperia 10 but it is a slight update to the xperia 10 plus device and yeah this i think is this is really the uh, predecessor of the Xperia 10 Mark II because they're a lot closer together and this feels like a normal one-year update to this device. So let's check them out in more detail. So let's compare those two handsets. On the left we see the Xperia 10 Plus device, on the right we see the Xperia 10 Mark II. You can see obviously the size difference 6.5 inch versus 6 inch then you can see on the back another hardware difference let's clean the back of the xperia 10 mark 2 a bit you can see another difference here we have matte plastic here we have gorilla glass 6 then we see another difference when it comes to the cameras. You can see here we have a dual camera setup, NFC tag by the way, with a flash above this. Here we have a free camera setup, NFC tag and flash above it. It's a bit dirty still. It's hard to clean those bags up. So, um, what are the differences? When we take a look at the top, you can see both have the headphone jack still and a microphone. The microphone on a different position here on the Xperia 10 Mark II. Then at the bottom on the Xperia 10 Mark II only USB Type-C and a microphone. On the Xperia 10 Plus device we have, uh, which one is it? This one, the, the speaker, and here somewhere another microphone hidden. There's no speaker, it just looks like a speaker grill and a USB Type-C. Then on the left side, we have the opening for the SIM slot. Here we have the option to have on the Xperia 10 Plus, we have the option to whenever I open it up, you can see it. We have a dual SIM and a micro SD card slot as well. I can hopefully put pull this out. It's a bit hard to pull out. Here we have also the CE stuff inside. Then on the front we have cameras, let's turn this display off, and of course the speaker, the main speaker, you can see there's a difference in the speaker here, it is flush to the display on the, uh, let's see, we can get it to focus on the 10 plus, it's flush to the display, basically almost flush to the display, just slightly recessed, and we have the camera and a sensor, and on the Xperia 10 Mark II, you can see the recession here is a lot, lot it's a lot more recessed so there's a bigger hole here uh, here's the camera and the sensor is here for for uh, proximity sensor or light sensor yeah then let's come to the displays let's clean them up a bit and take a look at the display this Xperia 10 plus device and here the Xperia 10 Mark II device. You can see the display is a, diff is a different display. We have an LCD on the Xperia 10 Plus and we have an OLED on the Xperia 
10 Mark II, uh, both uh, full HD stretched resolutions, but because these are uh, the stretch re resolution is uh, basically put into a 6 inch display, it is a bit sharper than on the Xperia 10 Plus, where we have a uh, 6.5 inch. Uh, so you can see this in the icons and in the text eventually that there is a slight difference. Of course I'm running SafeHS on my 10 Plus device so cannot really <laughs> compare uh, the same icons but in general you can also see that the darks or the blacks uh, here should be turned off completely and here uh, there's a slight, because it's an LCD screen there is a slight background um, light still shining. So this is for the displays and for the hardware. When it comes to software there's not much of a difference. The Xperia 10 Plus also gained Android 10 support which the Xperia 10 Mark II came by default. Uh, I'm running Savage S, that's a major difference. I think uh, the 10 Plus is in the open Sony Open Device program so you have the option to just simply run whatever operating system you like to run and one of those options is Savage S for example. And uh, on the Xperia uh, 10 Mark II it is not yet in the open device program but I hope it will be uh, getting the open device, uh, it will be getting into the open device program so we can install other operating systems on it as well. So there's not much of a difference uh, there. There are slightly differences when it comes to Android version and what it comes pre-installed. So the Sony Album app is still available on the Sony Xperia 10 Plus and it's not available anymore on the 10 Mark II. Same goes for the uh, video app I think and uh, for the email application as well. When it comes to cameras, the camera setup is very similar. The cameras basically, the 10 Mark II has the cameras of the 10 Plus plus one more. So it has an ultra wide camera more. So this is a tele, this is I think the, the upper one is the ultra wide that it has that the Xperia 10 Plus misses or lacks. And uh, when it comes to differences you can see the middle sensor is the same but the Xperia, which is the middle one, I think this was the, the main sensor, but the Xperia um, 10 Mark II, this device has a slightly smaller aperture with 2.0 instead of 1.8 I think, which the 10 Plus device still has. So um, if you do comparisons when it comes to photos. Maybe I will do some comparisons, but there's only a slightly difference. This is basically uh, has a bit of a different processing and slightly um, brighter images than the Mark II device. But this is basically the major difference between those devices. And uh, hardware-wise, you can see uh, I think this device is more premium. It's more light which is also interesting, it's lighter than this device. This device has a smaller battery <laughs> than this device. So I'm not sure what they, what they did here, but this feels a lot lighter than this one here. In terms of durability, you can see this device I have a bit longer. You can see that there is a slight difference here in, in the plastic that changed here. I was using this without any kind of protection because it's basically plastic. Why do I need protection for this? And the camera bump itself, uh, maybe slightly, but very subtle. There's only a bit of dust there, but no, there's basically nothing broken there or some scratches or even here on the, on the bump where it usually sits, it doesn't sit on the glass usually. On this metal bump ring, there's nothing to, that you can see. This device, of course, brand new almost just a few weeks old, shouldn't have any scratches on the back. Uh, just a bit of dust again, but also no scratches on the back camera. Just a bit of dust <laughs> again and a different color, but that's it. And here also, besides the dust, nothing. Um, also what's interesting, you can see one thing that I left out is the, 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 the side and the fingerprint sensor. So you can see the sides both are the sides both are in uh, this matte plastic finish 
which is uh, pretty interesting. But you can see that the Xperia 10 Plus device also has this accentuated, like, uh, you can see the silver there in the blue painting of the volume key, for example. Here's the power key, the same. You can see the silver shining, and I th I'm not sure if this is really alum aluminum or some, some metal. I think it is also plastic, mainly. Uh, they're not wobbly at all, but a bit recessed here, the, power, the, the, the volume key is very recessed, especially the down volume one. This one you can feel. And here you can see the fingerprint sensor, one of the older ones, but a good one. It works. It is pretty reliable when it comes to detecting the fingerprint. You can see, works. Safety rest, by the way, if I press once on it, it will not unlock it, it will just go to the lock screen, and then if I press again, it will read the fingerprint. And here we can see First of all, the volume key, the volume rocker, is a lot more pronounced. And you can see it is matte plastic as well, and we don't see any, any and no silver line there shining through, or something like this. And here we have the power button and the fingerprint reader. You can see it's not as shiny as on the 10 Plus device, and it's a completely different fingerprint. It's a bit smaller, the, the fingerprint reading area, but it is more reliable, a lot more re reliable. But when it comes to the 10 Plus or the uh, 10 Mark II, they have both pretty reliable fingerprint, printers, uh, fingerprint readers, so there's no issue with this. The only unreliable fingerprint reader is, I think, <laughs> in the Xperia uh, 1 and Xperia 5, uh, if you can see it's even tinier than I think the 10 Mark II's fingerprint reader, is it? Uh, maybe not, but it is a lot tinier than the the one on the Xperia 10 Mark II. It's using the same technology apparently, but you can see, and this tininess makes it a lot harder for this fingerprint reader to really work. But, uh, of course, Xperia 1, uh, we talk another time, I think, about the Xperia 1. That's it uh, when it comes to the comparison between the 10 Plus versus the 10 Mark II. I hope you enjoyed this little video. And uh, like, subscribe, and all those shenanigans. Until the next time, bye!